A student from a California high school has been expelled for taking and distributing a nude picture, but it wasn't a nude selfie. Take a look. Multiple students have been suspended for a naked photo and video scandal involving an administrator at their Northern California high school. The videos and photos were secretly taken in an off-campus gym locker room and then posted to Snapchat. The images quickly circulated around school and led to searches of student phones with a threat of suspension if they did not relinquish their devices. Many parents and students feel the school has gone too far and are outraged about their own invasion of privacy. Meanwhile, the 17-year-old student who secretly took the photo of the administrator was expelled and arrested on suspicion of invading someone's privacy and then later released to his parents. So what would you do if your child was involved in a nude internet photo scandal? And to help in our discussion of this story, please welcome criminal defense attorney Sarah Azari to the show. Welcome. welcome. Sarah. welcome. A lot, there are a lot of elements to this story. A lot of layers, yeah. I mean, look, first of all, we all have a right to privacy. Even students who are, you know, in high school, they don't shed those rights when they walk into the school grounds. So the issue here is, to what extent can school administrators search a cell phone? Um, and there's two things going on here. You've got the cell phone of the 17-year-old who actually took the photo um, and then put it on Snapchat, and then you have the cell phones of all these other kids who weren't involved, but, who were just but following. But receive yeah, the information. And, and but control what you receive. Absolutely. Someone can just send it and to you. And it's anything. actually against the law to search phones of third parties to find evidence of the wrongdoing of the perpetrator. So that was absolutely illegal. I'm, I'm assuming that the school is going to face a lot of lawsuits for all those kids. I don't know how you can possibly be a school administrator nowadays. Number one, the problem with cell phones is how do you even get people to pay attention in class? Right. And then preventing them from sharing all the scandalous information. Wow, we, you know. I mean, do, yeah, they, you know, do the, they have a right to try to retrieve all the photos out there? But that's impossible. It's impossible. And you know, the problem that cell phones hmm. pose in terms of a search, it's very different than a backpack or a purse or something. Because there's no sections in a cell phone. Once you're in and you're past the passcode, it's fair game. But if it's and illegal, I'm just trying to figure out if you're the individual whose naked picture is now on everyone's cell phone and you want that gone forever, I feel, t how can you legally go about doing that? Or is there a way? Because to me, if you have a picture of someone on your phone of them naked that they did not want taken, mm -hmm. there has to be a way to make that go away because this person, this administrator for the rest of their lives has nude photos and videos of them. Dr. How, how do we Dr. get- Dr. Travis, how, actually there's, in California where this happened, there is a law called the Erase Bill which allows posts by minors to be uh, retracted. So, you know, it's very difficult for us if we post something to ever request it being uh, taken off the internet. Once it's, it's not going to happen, yeah, right? I know, I don't, but yeah. this particular bill allows minors, I guess the, the, the logic behind it is that um, adults have a better sense of judgment of what they're posting. No, but something. I'm talking about this scenario. It's the minors no, exactly. posting the so, adults. So, so that there's. Well, one of the terms, for instance, in court will be, since you are a minor and you posted this, you're going to have to request that it be taken off all these platforms. So if you never want to be caught by anyone, you can never shower at the gym. <laughs> Don't go to the locker room. And, and a few weeks ago, we talked about people saw drones outside their own bathroom. So I guess we can't even shower in our own homes anymore. Wow, what has the world well, come to? I remember since the, at the spa, I mentioned this story uh -oh. with Justin Bieber, and <laughs> for that reason, I mean, I was naked, but he wasn't, and there was a reason for that, and I... Did you take photos? I, I did not. I had no interest <laughs> in it. I, <laughs> even if I had the op, I wouldn't have, but clearly... I mean, you can make some money You know, and I made fun with him. I, I, I had some fun with Justin. I, you know, like, I don't have my camera, but, <laughs> but I hear where you're coming from. I mean, are you seeing more of these kind of cases as far as adults? Uh, yes. Like who, th there's photos out there of either party and somebody else posts them. And Absolutely, and then we just recently, in the last few years in California, have the revenge porn statute, yeah. where um, people that are in a relationship consent to their naked photos being on the boyfriend or the girlfriend's phone. Once they break up, that consent is no longer there, but the other person out of spite posts the naked photos, and this, this is a crime. They can't actually. do that. They can't do that. Now, since the situation is currently under investigation, the school wasn't able to comment at this time. Stick around.